All right, and here is the legendary Green Lion from Voltron Legendary Defender, which uh, is a really good show on Netflix. Uh, Netflix original cartoon that they brought Voltron back. I've been enjoying it. I'm looking forward to the second season starting soon in January. But here is the legendary Green Lion, which is the combining version. They have single versions of the lions that don't combine. They're smaller. They're a little cheaper. They're not as articulated. And they have some sort of just basic action gimmick. Uh, this is the combining version here. It has come with the shield on its back. And he also comes, one of his other accessories is this vine launcher. And this is what I was talking about in the Red Lion video. Like, I guess that can be a tangle of vines, but that clear blue plastic doesn't scream vine to me. It really only works for Lance's ice weapon. It comes, it comes packaged like this with this piece rotated. And to connect it, you want to rotate it so it slants backwards. Because when you pull the shield off here, this little peg hole right here, you can see how that green piece kind of fills in that area. And while that's connected, you can you can take the shield and connect it back here if you wish. So you can leave everything together. Pidge stores in a little sled here underneath, just like on Red Lion. The sled's different. It's got the blue paint app and the green paint app. Once again, the... Uh, figure itself is just solid black from the you know, last third of it. So they're soft rubber. They're not... It's a neat little feat. I'm, I'm, it's neat that they added it. It would have been nice if they were fully painted like the uh, early pictures showed. But again, on something like this, considering how much the paint apps aren't lacking on the bigger figure, he's even got the little blue highlights there on the side of the face. And the same spring-loaded jaw. I'm, I'm willing to forgive the paint on the tiny, tiny little man, or tiny, tiny little person uh, driving the lion on something like this. So yeah, there he is. It launched same launches the vine, vine missile with about the same force as the uh, red lion. It's not a super powerful missile, but it's not a super weak missile either. So that's kind of nice. It is spring-loaded. There he is, with no accessories attached. The other thing that is included with Green Lion is, like I said, the spine for the sword. I don't know why they split this. I mean, like, I feel like the fact that you're buying the five lines to combine to form Voltron already kind of ensures that you're going to buy the whole set. I don't know that splitting the sword between two figures is a sales driver in any way, but they did it. Um, and this is not soft plastic. It is, it is a pretty stiff plastic. It, Bends a little just because it's mostly hollow. Uh, this is a softer clear plastic, not super. It's not soft rubber like the feet on these guys, but uh, it's a little bendable. But basically, you can see there's a little nub here on the top part, front of the sword, and a little nub here back on the handle, right there in front of my thumb. And there's a couple little holes in this, and you just snap that together over the sword. And once that's done, you have now completed Blazing Sword. Like I said, no clue as to why they skipped that, or they split that into two pieces, but they did. Uh, there's a little bit of paint chipping here on the handle, which is a little disappointing, but again, a minor issue uh, overall. And again, you, once that's done, it helps. You can take Red Lion, or you actually Green Lion can hold it in his mouth as well. But uh, open the mouth, close that up, and it fits very securely in the hand. And then there's the wrist full. So we'll see that all connected when we get to the combined Voltron. Green Lion transforms exactly the same way as Red Lion. Uh, again, they do have different sculpts. You can see their head. All the lions have different head sculpts, uh, vaguely different body types. They're all unique, which is really cool. They could have, you know, cloned a lot of it, but there's several unique differences in all of them. You see the feet, same ratcheting joints all the way down. Something I don't think I mentioned on Red Lion that I intended to, but 
That's the joy of having four very, very similar things. Everything is a hard, solid plastic, with the exception of the tail is a soft plastic. The feet, for some reason, like the actual connector here that ratchets is hard plastic. It's that same gray hard plastic, but when you come down here, you can see where it goes in to the green. This green plastic, this silver is paint. This is all like a soft, rubbery plastic. I'm not sure why they made that decision, but it's like that on all the lines. Hard plastic, with the exception of the tails, and for whatever reason, the feet. But outside of that, like I said, transforms exactly the same. Bring this down, fold this all the way in, fold the foot down. I feel like that should have another notch. There we go. I should have another notch going in there. Flip out the connector. And again, roast this up. The way that Green Lion's for upper body is built, it's a little harder to get it open as wide as Red Lion, but same thing applies. Lift that up, push it in, fold the foot down into there, push it in, fold the foot down into there, and close that back up. There's a little tab here that latches into the neck, and it's got the same rotational joint there. And push the tail in until it, pop, until it pops all the way in. You may have to twist, like I said, twisting it a little bit helps to find the path of least resistance so it clips in and stays in. If you push it too far and it bends, sometimes that bending will be, have enough pressure that it'll pop that back out of the locking mechanism. Yeah, so there's that. And then the shield, of course, plugs in up here on the upper part of his arm. That was the one thing that surprised me was that this, I, when I saw earlier pictures, I thought he had this shield crest on both shoulders. So uh, when it proved, turned out to be asymmetrical, I thought that was, one, wasn't expecting it, and two, kind of cool. Although I do kind of wish Red Lion had a peg hole up here so you could buy two Green Lions and give them the symmetrical shield, but oh well. So yeah, there they are in the same posability here at the shoulder, bicep, elbow, uh, wrist swivel. Uh, somebody said it would be nice if these necks collapsed into the body. And on the leg lions, they do. Uh, but because of the way these legs fold up inside there, there's just you can see there's just no room for that neck to slide back at all. So it would have been nice, but I understand why they didn't. I'd rather have those legs fold in for the cleaner forearm than push the neck back. So yeah, there is legendary green lion in our mode. We're getting there. Oh, also came, just like before, instruction manual specific to Green Lion, as well as that same product catalog.